Hmm? You want to interview me? I want to be over here. I'm going to call it out. You want to say the questions? I'm a hot girl. I do hot. I finish income. On my outfit. Hi guys, welcome back to the suite. Like I'm Tay, I'm Tay, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A and explaining to you guys why I dropped out of college. Um, so I basically just posted the little question thing on Instagram. A couple people asked me some questions, so I'm gonna answer those questions, and then, like I said, I'm gonna tell you guys about why I dropped out of college. The irony, still representing, but yeah, no longer with Georgia State. I have breezy here <laughs> she didn't want to ask me the question hey y'all she's like to interview folks so i'm interviewing her <laughs> so yeah let's get started okay so the very first question is mm -hmm. what state do you want to live in once you settle down okay and everybody always be like what but i want to move to texas like she's texas. not going to texas, <laughs> texas is like <laughs> I, it's really nice to me the cost of living is cheap Nice big house, like <laughs> you alright? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Texas would be the ideal place, but my family and my friends are crazy. So I would say Atlanta, like, but ideally Texas. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject was definitely literature i love to read and write like even now um i read a lot i got a lot of books and then i write everything down everything how i'm feeling mm -hmm. i still have a diary yes i do next question is what made you start a youtube well let me start a youtube channel is like i said explaining my work video i seen it as an opportunity to expose others um and another source of income at one point but it's really for exposure. I want everybody to know everybody and to be like, oh, I didn't even know she did that. Let me go talk to her. Or, and she got a class. I'm gonna be a last year. Let me go take her class. Like, and it actually, um, I actually did that. Somebody um hit me up on Facebook, cause like I said, I I, I promote um Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. So I'm on my Facebook friends in the uh inbox to me it's like um ask me about breezy class or whatever so it's working it's doing exactly what i want to do and i just want y'all to see my life i want y'all to just go on man i just want to just want to show y'all the day-to-day -day how me and my friends interact like well, y'all ain't ready for now bro yeah. <laughs> i don't have to bleep out so much stuff because them kids are crazy she crazy with us. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so the next question is, how your ass get so fat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you said it for I me. Um, <laughs> my mom. Yeah, it's hereditary. My daddy got big booty females on his side. My mom booty is huge. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> And her dad family got big boots. Like all my aunties on my mama daddy side. It's hereditary. And then I've been an athlete since I was four years old. So I built muscle. This ain't wobble like water. That ain't no, <laughs> no muscle. That ain't no darn muscle. So my mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> What's your dream car? My dream car, there's not one baby because I'm on a luxurious lifestyle. I have a couple. Okay, let's start with the first one. Thank you. It's a track car. I know. I feel like I could drive, but yeah, I really want a truck. Like, I'm a truck type of girl. I was a truck. My dad drove a truck. And when I was little, I was always like, I'm going to drive a truck by my dad. But. So I just, I'm on a track hawk for sure. And then there's the Jaguar F Pace. It's, it's a, also a truck. It's really, really cute. I love how it looks. And then the last one that I've always wanted, like, is a BMW. Like, I want a tour coupe. I want the M2. All my car people, y'all know which one it is. But yeah. Then it's the three. Oh, I forgot in a Yukon. Like I said, I'm a truck type girl. Like, I want to like, pull up to my little boy down in my Yukon. Like, I want to be that type of mom. Yeah. <laughs> How 
was your CNA class you took in high school? My CNA class was a blessing. It really was a blessing. Um, I don't see myself in the position that I'm in now without my class. And it was like, honestly, like one of the best things I did my career, my high school career. Um, it was not easy. It was a very challenging process. My teacher lost her certification in the mix. I had to switch to a whole other class, learn everything all over again. It was it was challenging, but it was truly a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was truly a blessing. Um, Dr. Wagner, shout out to you. You really helped me with a lot. Like I learned so much in so little time. She got me ready. Um, it was a blessing. It was a big blessing. Okay, the next question is, what do you aspire to be, baby? I aspire to be a philanthropist. Like, the heart that I have and the things that make me happy, which is helping people and doing for people, I, I, I aspire to be a very wealthy philanthropist that can help everybody out. But I see people on the street. It don't matter if I know you, you in a grocery store and you got to put something back, I'm going to buy like. I like to give, I like to help people out. If I could take everybody where or the world and make it not a worry no more, I would. So she really would, y'all. Y'all. And I had to learn I'm learning to not do that for certain people because it hurts me sometimes in the end. But overall I can say that I'm blessed because of it. So I see myself. I aspire to be a French I aspire to help out every and every, any and everybody of all colors. What would you say to younger kids pursuing the same path you did? What I say pursuing the same path that I did and now, which I'm gonna explain to y'all later, I no longer have a path. Um, it's always a business path. Always consult God, like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, because you can go get all these degrees, everything, and then that's not what God has for you, like. What I had to do, and a part of why I dropped out of college, when I'm getting to, I had to go back and say, "Look, God, what you what you have for me to do?" Because at the end of the day, if I choose it, like I said in last week's episode, if I choose it, I gotta make sure it's straight. I gotta maintain it. I gotta keep money in it. I gotta figure out what to work with it. But if God do it, I don't have to worry about anything because that's what He has for me, and He gon' it's gonna be favor in that area because that's what He has for me to do. So I said. Pray. Ask him, God, what you want me to do? Like, what what is it you have me to do where I can bless people or what did what did you see me doing in my life? Um, that's all the advice I have because I don't have a path. I mean I have a path, but as far as nursing, if it, that's what I don't know who asked that. But as far as nursing, um if you don't have the heart for it, do not do it. There's nurses out there. You got 90 year olds pooping, peeing on their stuff, and they're like, I ain't doing it. Calling, calling the cleanup team. Like, if you don't have no heart to help people, don't do it. And they, somebody has to do it. Period. They in there for a reason. Somebody has to do it. And if you're taking on that responsibility, you're taking on that job, you have to do it. If your heart is not in it as a nurse, do not do it. And the very last question is what keeps you going? What keeps me going? The fact that I ain't made it yet to get my family out. Period. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. My mom don't got nowhere to stay right now. I can't do nothing about it. That's what keeps me going. That right there. I don't even have to say anything else after that. That. That's all I can tell y'all. <laughs> That's it. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, okay. So, like I mentioned, um, yeah, I, I really been, I really been getting closer to God. That's the reason like, I've been getting closer to God. And like I said, it got stressful. I need money, my dollar bills. Yeah. So that's not the only thing, but it's part of it. So, main thing was I initially dropped out of school because I wanted to put pursue more time into my job, my full-time job, my business. I said, look, if I'm going to make the money to invest in my business, I just can't do school for something. It was very, very stressful. College is not easy. And everybody that know me, when I posted it, plus everybody that know me was like, what, what, you, what, what, what? You was the main reason why I got it. I'm like, 
like I was the straight A student in high school. Like school, it comes like that to me. I don't have no problem with A7 no class at all. Like it's not a problem for me, but it got stressful. And I didn't want to drop out. I feel like I was gonna disappoint a lot of people, which I didn't. I, I, my folks, they was really, really understanding. They surprised me. Especially this one right here. <laughs> like I just told y'all she's crazy. So, um, and then on top of getting close to God, um, when I initially went into nursing, that's why I said if you don't have a heart for it, don't do it. I had a heart for it. I love to help people. I can. I can go help people. Like I said, I, I love to help people. That's what I do. I see my elderly out, they're not holding no door. That's that's my job. Men or women, men or women, it don't matter. Like that's how I am about my older people, about people in need, period. I like to tell people, so it wasn't all about money, but, but I watched my mama struggle and I said, I like to help people. I always wanted to, you know, every time I went to the hospital, I was a sickly little kid, I had asthma. All the times I went to the hospital, I'm like, oh, I wonder what she do, da, da, da. I always had the little toys with the stethoscope and stuff. Like, I was really, that's all, that was all I wanted to be when I was little. That's all I knew. Um. And so I watched my mom struggle. I said, what? I can go go to school, go make this money. And mom, oh, I'm finna go do this. Like, this is what I'm finna do. No no questions about it. They ask nobody about it. I made my mind up senior year. I didn't know what I was. Senior year, when I took this CNA class, I made my mind up right in there. I seen the numbers. I said, I'm finna go do this. My mom finna be straight. Like, that's it. That's what I'm finna go do. But what I didn't do, like I said, I did not ask God. I didn't consult God. I wasn't close to him at that time. I, he wasn't. I'm not gonna say he wasn't that important to me at the time, but he wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't praying like I should have. I wasn't going forth, going to church. My 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 spiritual life wasn't where it where it should have been at that time. So I didn't consult him at all. Like it was nothing. Oh hey God, what you want me to do? Nope, didn't do it at all. So at this point in time in my life, certain things weren't working out. Like I said, I want to focus on my business and then the messages that my um, apostle was giving in church. Preparing for more, you know, his three main, his three things he taught on was getting away from what you know, who you know, get away from what you know, who you know, why you know, different things like just getting away from the things that you know, basically separating yourself so God can prepare you for more. All I knew was go to school, get a job, work a job, make money. That's all I grew up on. That's, I mean, having a job since I was 16 years old because men don't work, don't eat. So that's all I knew. And a part of preparing for more and getting ready, I said, okay, I got to go back. I got to talk to God. And I got to say, look, do you even want me to go to school? Do you, am I even supposed to be a nurse? You feel me? Like, I, I literally sit there and I just sit in my room. Or I write, like I said, I like to write. That's how, that's how I communicate with God. I write to him. I be like, Lord. This happened today. This happened. I don't know what I'm doing. Not that I, I need you to tell me, send me a sign, dream, anything. And this is the process that I'm in now. Um, like I said, I love school. I love to learn. I love. I'm. I love feeling like I'm getting more information, or I love being exposed to new things. I like that. So I won't say I won't ever go back. But at this time, it's not what I want for myself. It's not what I want to do. Um, and I'm taking next semester off as well. I won't be there next semester, but if once I keep praying and ceasing and asking God, and once I get a clear view of what I'm what I'm supposed to be doing, um, I might go back. I very well might go back. I see my I see myself going back, but I don't know if it's for nursing. And I won't say I won't ever be a nurse or a medical assistant because I can easily go get me another nursing job. But y'all, I told her to go to school for business, by the way, a long time ago. But keep going. That's a waste of time because it is a waste of time. But it's a waste of time. Like I, I'm not gonna say I know everything about business, but it's not hard. <laughs> but I did tell her to do business. She did. Way. She did. She definitely did. <laughs> And I feel like that might be it because the type of person that I am, you know, you have your workers out there, you know, that, you know, being on the clock is fine for them. Having a set schedule is okay. That's what they're used to. That's not how I operate. I don't want to be on nobody's schedule. I don't want to miss out on certain things. I know I can't be on the scene every weekend, 
but birthdays, holidays, important dates, graduations, I want to be there. I want to be able to work out. You know, you got to be to work at 8 o'clock. Who finna wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and work out? And who finna work, work out when you get up? I used to work 12 hour shift. As an MA, I work four 12 hour shifts every week. Do the math. And then sometimes overtime. So there was no time. <laughs> the money was good, but there was no time. And at one point, my appearance wasn't right either. I'm hair one done, nails one done, no lashes. So that's not who I am. Very high maintenance. And I lost myself making my money, going to school, da da da. So I had to be like, hold on. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. So that's where I am right now. Take my time. Make my money. Got my own schedule. I'm able to do what I want, when I want. Financial freedom is the goal. A lot of people, a lot of family lives. So what you gonna do? What, what's the plan? What you want in life? You're not gonna be able to go like, what's your, what's your next career? Like, it ain't no career. It's financial freedom. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like I said in another video, it's time. It's been time to run my business. Like, I'm very business oriented. Like, that's what I like to do. That's what I want to do. Financial freedom is the goal. Be able to do what I want, when I want. And my bank account still satisfy me. Yeah, it's only like, how do I go? I just want to hope I, you know, hope it was. I hope it was entertaining for you guys. Um, I probably will do another one of these probably like in the next three or four months as things go on, as things change. You got give you guys an update like, oh, I wonder how she's doing after you know this and that. Did she get another job? Did her business off the ground? If it did, y'all gonna see me anyway. But I'll get, I'll update y'all on it or whatever. That is it. That is the sweet life of Tay T for the week. Bye, you guys.